Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that the content is useful and promotes it to others. If you don't like it, let me know about it in the comments. If you still don't have a Star Citizen account, use my referral link in the description below or the code on screen to snag yourself some extra starting credits. Now on with the video. In this video, we'll cover one of the easiest types of contract missions you could take up. Investigations. While you can do most, if not all of them, without any special equipment, I do suggest taking a gun and some ammo with. Maybe even a med pen or two just in case. It's not common, but sometimes other players or NPCs will be on location and they're not always friendly. There's a few different types of investigations currently in the game. Some of the more common ones are... Find a missing person in a cave. Find a missing person who is a crew aboard a crashed ship. Locate a crashed ship to determine the fate of the entire crew. Locate a crashed ship and recover the black box, and then transport it back to a drop point. In many cases, the three involving the crashed ship can involve the same ship, and I'll leave the rest of them for you to discover later. Something I do feel obligated to mention is that sometimes the crash sites can be pretty far from a quantum jump point. So if you decide to take up these contracts, just be ready to spend some time slow traveling. It's not the end of everything if that happens. It gives you some time to take in the more scenic sunrise and sunsets and get used to the controls of your vehicle. Now since I know you didn't come here to look at the sunrise, let's get on with it. I've just picked up a single contract to find the fate of the crew. So our duty is to locate the crash, which luckily for this video is close to a quantum beacon, then search for the members of the crew at the wreck. If we look at the mission brief in the accepted contracts tab, it will tell us how many and who we're looking for. Otherwise, when we get close to the wreck, our tracked mission HUD will just display a simple count. The nice thing about this particular mission archetype is that you get a reward for each member you find. So if you get stuck and you can't locate all of them, you still get payment for whoever you did find. The amount paid is based on whatever role that particular member that you found was, such as a captain, gunner, engineer, etc. Some wrecks will have all members in one part of the destroyed ship, like the main fuselage, while others may have them spread about in the other pieces that broke off. This wreck happens to be a caterpillar cargo ship, so I'm going to go ahead and search all of the fragments of the broken ship. Now that we've arrived at the site, our tracking HUD information shows that we need to locate eight members. So all there is to this is to go around the wreck looking for them. And here we've located our first casualty. We just need to get close and search them. This will immediately give us a payout for this member. You could also take any armor or clothing they might have, but I don't need it so I'm just going to continue looking for others. A word of warning, sometimes there are booby traps like this laser tripwire. 
If you get a good position, you can safely set it off so you can continue your search. It looks like someone really doesn't want anyone in here. Because I don't think there's anyone up there. I'm just going to leave it and go search the rest of the ship. I guess this is high enough I didn't need to crawl before. I don't really remember the layout of the caterpillar all that well, so I tend to backtrack just to make sure I've cleared all the spaces.
Looks like all the lower floor doors are closed with no control pad to open them. The upper floor door is open. Good thing we're on a moon with lower gravity. And this is our last crew member. Now the contract is complete, so we get our closing payout and we're done here. So I hope this gave you some insight as to what an investigation mission is like, and I'll see you around in the next one.